Right. Um, this is in the front page of the Telegraph, but it's actually everywhere. Uh, I don't know how long people wait to see a GP, but um, according to this, 15 million patients cannot book appointments with their GPs when they need them, and 10 million adults cannot book an appointment uh, more than three days in advance. And this is a huge issue. The government um, set a lot by this, saying that actually everyone would be seen within 48 hours. Now, I don't know how many people have phoned a doctor's surgery, but if you can get past the receptionist, you're doing pretty well, aren't you? Um, and I think what a lot of people are finding is that they're intimidated on the end of the phone. What do you mean you need to see a doctor? How bad is your illness? Um, you know, well, that's because um, of these lunatics who are phoning up because, you know, yeah. they've, they've got a cold or they're, they're, they're itchy. There is a very serious issue, which is that there are those people who do need a lot of social support. And actually, the doctor is often the one that picks up the pieces when actually there are much bigger issues going on. Are you a legit doctor? Or did you buy the title or what? Are you... <laughs> Goodbye. Uh, I am a real one. I am a real oh, really? one. But, um, so I, I can come to you with all my problems. But well, well there then. are there are many. But I was going to say that if, you know <laughs> if. Uh, <laughs> If you had a heart attack, for instance, now, I think you've really rather blotted your copybook, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, the...